the ETDRS, measurement of visual acuity. The ETDRS, or Early Treatment Diabetic Retinopathy Study Method for Measuring Visual Acuity, was developed by Ferris in 1982 and uses modified bailey lovey logmar charts. Logmar stands for the log of the minimum angle of resolution. The chart displays a limited number of Sloan letters selected for the visibility, which diminish in size from above downwards in logarithmic steps from row to row. Each row consists of five letters, giving the chart a distinctive V-shape. On this chart, the Snellen equivalent of each line is indicated opposite the Logmar value. The method is highly standardized and has been adopted generally for vision research. The charts. ETDRS letters are presented at high contrast on a backlit screen, illuminated by a stable and diffused fluorescent light source. Three charts are available. The R chart is used to carry out a manifest refraction, while charts 1 and 2 are used to assess right and left visual acuity, respectively. The 4 meter test. The test is usually conducted at 4 meters, with the patient sitting or standing and their head maintained at 4 meters from the chart throughout the test. The right eye is tested first, with the left eye covered. An appropriate correction for 4 meters is placed in the trial frame. Okay, so we're going to start measuring your visual acuity now using the chart that's just at the end of the room. What I'd like you to do is to read up from the top left hand corner along each line, one letter at a time, and then down each line one at a time. There are no numbers on the chart, only letters. If you're not sure about what one of the letters is, I'd like you to make a guess at what you think it might be. And I'd like you to read those letters at a nice regular rate of about one letter per second. So that's A, B, C, and so on. If you need to turn your head to try and see some of the letters, then that's fine. But I'd like to encourage you not to try and look with your other eye. And I'd also like you to try and stay sitting nice and upright in your chair and not leaning forward at all in order to try and see what the letters are. Okay? Yes, that's fine. Let's get started. Performance of the test. The clinician circles each correct letter on the record chart, held conveniently on a clipboard. Incorrect letters are left unmarked. The ETDRS test is highly standardized, and in order to perform it correctly, the clinician must encourage guessing where there is uncertainty. I'm not sure what this one is. Have a guess. See if you can make out anything that you think might be a letter. And remind the patient that there are no numbers on the chart if the patient calls out a number. Hang on. If I just remind you that there are no numbers on the chart, there are only letters. So what letter do you think that first one might be? The clinician monitors the head position to ensure that the distance is maintained at four meters and ensure that accidental viewing by the fellow eye is avoided. It's fine to move your head yes. like that. Just make sure you're not using the other eye to see any of the letters for me. Okay? Oh. The clinician is not allowed to point to letters or rows on the chart, but may guide the patient to a lost line by referring to guide marks on the chart. Okay, can you see the double bars running across the chart there for me? Oh, yes. If you start at that line there. Recording the acuity. The patient continues reading down the chart to the last letter of each line until they make three errors on a given line, despite guessing. The incorrect letters can occur at the beginning, middle, or end of the line and do not have to be consecutive. The four-meter test is completed when the last letter on this line has been attempted. It must be conducted for each eye. At the end of the test, the numbers of circled correct letters are added up and recorded for each row and then summed for that eye at the bottom of the column. If, having carried out the four-meter test for each eye, the patient is able to read fewer than 20 letters correctly with either eye, then the eye with the reduced acuity is retested at one meter, as discussed shortly. The total score for a given eye is the sum of scores at four and one meter. If testing at one meter was not required, 
Then, 30 points are added automatically to the score sheet to give the final score. The ETDRS VA score can be reported as the total number of letters read correctly at 4 plus 1 meters, or as the Logmar score, which is calculated by assigning 0 0.02 Logmar units for each letter. Testing at 1 meter. Testing at 1 meter is required if the patient reads fewer than 20 letters correctly with either eye. Both eyes must be tested first at 4 meters before testing at 1 meter. The right eye and the left eye charts are used as before. The patient must remain seated for the 1 meter test and the distance of the head from the chart must be carefully monitored and maintained throughout. A plus 0 0.75 diopter sphere is placed in the trial frame to correct for the 1 meter distance. The patient is required to read only six lines at this distance, making 30 points the maximum possible score. If letter acuity is not recordable at one meter, then counts fingers, hand motions, or light perception are recorded at one meter in the standard manner.